Hello Taurus and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot where we are all Taurus all the time. We are going to do our weekly reading for March 17th through the 23rd. So before we get started, I do want to mention come join our membership, okay? Our Taurus Inspiration membership. There is a little button below here that says join. If you can't find that button, then uh, it is in the description box and the pinned comments, the link to it. We would love to see more Taurus over there. Taurines, Tori, now I can't even talk. That's all right. So come join us over there. It's a monthly uh, subscription over there. We do a lot of different readings. I'm adding more stuff, especially come April, do that. Um, and we have a great group of people. We really just have a great group of people over there. So join us. Oh, all right. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for the week? March 17th through the 23rd. What is the overall energy? So I know the 17th is St. Patrick's Day and a lot of people celebrate. Some people don't. But for me, it's a magical time of year. So I think this week is going to be magic. I really do. So let's see what we got. We have action. I like that, actually. Um, it says right here, <clears throat> now is the, ooh, chills. Um, now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. We, you know, listen, Taurus, we've been talking about it for a while. We're going to continue to talk about it as more Taurus join this channel, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Um, we're leading the pack, okay? We're leading the pack. Our actions are not only going to be beneficial for us, it is going to be beneficial for others, okay? This reminds me of a story that I will keep short, but I have a dear friend of mine who I've known for 20 some odd years, maybe longer. Uh, we met on St. Patrick's Day, as a matter of fact, for the first time we met on St. Patrick's Day. And uh, she had come back to me about, I want to say it was two, two or three years later, uh, she came back to New Orleans and I hadn't seen her in a few years. We talked all the time, but I didn't see her in person and she was amazing. She looked so much different, healthier, vibrant. And I looked at her and I said, wow, you know, what have you been doing? And she goes, so it's all because of you. And I went, what? Like, I like literally stepped back. I was like, what are you talking about? I was so uncomfortable with that, right? I really was. But she said, you inspired me to change things in my life. And I kind of was, you know, thrown back. And I, I, I said, how in the world did I, did I do that? And she goes, just by being you. By watching you live your life the way you li were living your life, it inspired me to make take action and change my life. So that's what I talk about when I talk about that leadership role, guys. You're going to be a leader whether you know it or not. You are going to inspire others by your actions, okay? So whatever you're doing, put your passion into it, put your inspiration into it, and start taking action towards it, Right? No matter what it is. For some of you, it's going to be big, big, big. Some of you, it's just you've always kind of wanted to do something. Now I'm going to do it, right? But you're changing your life. And we talk about this. The next 20 years, my loves, the next 20 years. I do feel very much if you take some action this week, since it's a weekly reading, you're going to see very fast results. And here's why. This, this unicorn is flying through that forest, okay? That's not a trot, right? That is full-blown. I'm going after it. I love it. I love this. Oh, I didn't realize that was there. The little guidebook. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have in the tarot. Yeah, I think you're going to see some magic happen. Definitely. Show us clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus right now? Which is why I named the membership Taurus Inspiration. That's exactly why I named it that, because we are here to inspire Show me clearly. What is the message? Show me clearly. Angel. Ooh, my goodness. All right. So our first card out here is the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I had to flip it to see what it was. And the Six of Cups in reverse. I love these in reverse. 
that shows so much movement. I told you, really fast movement, okay? The Four of Pentacles, when it's upright, can, depending on the reading, right? I read intuitively, but it can be about being stuck. I'm stuck. I feel like I can't move, right? You are unleashing yourself. What I feel like with the Six of Cups is, again, I, I, I've been saying it in a ton of readings, and again, if it's repetitive, it's because spirit needs you to hear it over and over again, but... Whoever you are right now, the good, it, it's not good or bad, right? But whoever you are right now, you're going to be a million times better. Whether that's in your spirituality, whether that's in your intelligence, whether that is in your physical looks, whether that is in your money situation. Yeah, it's, it's going to be big for you. Okay? I keep telling everybody and they just, they're, they're just seeing a glimpse of Taurus right now. Just a glimpse of the changes. You won't recognize your life a year from now, a month from now, whatever, however fast this comes in. You won't recognize your life and people won't recognize you. They'll be like, who is this new version of Taurus? It's really big and powerful. This, this to me is just letting go. Like you're just letting go of so much right now which is so important to do. Show me clearly. Thank you. Okay, so we have here the two of pentacles also coming out in reverse. Not stuck anymore. Twos are about making the decision. So now you're making the decision. Okay, now you're making the decision. You're putting plans in place, making the decision. I'm going to change this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to clear this space out. I'm going to whatever, whatever it is for you, right? Because you're all trying to manifest different things. But you're now making the decision to take the inspired action. Show me clearly. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the... And th I'm telling you guys, I don't... Well, that was strange that they made me do that. They're not all reversed. I swear to God, they're not. I just turned the deck over Ace of Wands. Inspired action, right? F Ten of Wands. So much releasing right now and decision making. It's like, I refuse to be in a bad relationship anymore. I refuse to be broke anymore. I refuse to live in the past. I refuse, you know, you're just, wow. Taurus, I can't tell you how proud I am of you because it's not easy for Taurus, for us, remember I'm a Taurus too, to let go of certain things. We often stay way too long at a job, way too long in a relationship, right? We often do that. I don't see you doing that right now. I see you moving forward at a fast pace. I see you going, it doesn't matter what happened in the past. I'm going forward. I'm seeing like forgiveness also and moving forward and moving on and almost kind of a It's inspired action because I think you're fed up. But it doesn't even feel like necessarily fed up with other people. You could be. But it feels more like I'm fed up with myself talking about I'm going to do this, going to do that, going to do this, dreaming about it, and then never taking any action towards it. And that's okay. It's good to be fed up with yourself. That's what moves you forward. Right? So I'm fed up with, you know, saying I'm going to do something for me and then I don't go do it or I'm fed up living in this terrible apartment and they never fix anything. That's it. I'm moving. Whatever it is, right? You are just like, yep, time to get moving. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to drop all these. I'm trying not to. It's too many. It's too many of them anyway. Hold on. There's too many, too many, too many cards. Too many cards. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's try that again. Ah, they just told me to shuffle. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. Show me clearly, please. That is too many. Can I just have one or two? One or two. Thank you. All right, so we have here the nine of cups. I'm so excited. I am so, wow. You know, I don't think I've ever seen the nine of cups in this deck. I have a million decks. You are following your heart for sure, okay? 
yeah, you're doing what you want to do. You're following your heart. But there is something how this does change for the long term. You change for the long term. Evolution, right? You change for the long term. Because anytime I see a sea turtle, that always clicks to me longevity because they live to like 150 years old. It's like you're riding this wave of goodness, happiness, joy, wish fulfillment, feeling satisfied finally instead of feeling disappointed, right? Like I love all of this. <laughs> I want to frame this nine of cups, right? <laughs> like, I love all of that. And you are leading, too. Look at the birds are focused on her, right? They are looking at this woman. It's like, I told you, you are going to be an inspiration for others, whether you know it or not. A big inspiration. This catapults you into a whole new level of being. Wow. <clears throat> Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, please? Show us clearly. Oof. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Two of Cups. Yes, I love to see this Two of Cups. This Two of Cups is soulmate energy. Um, you guys know this. It's like you could, this could be love for you, a lot of you. This is the right partnerships, the right pairings, the right house for you. We talk about soulmate energy, how it's in everything, right? I have a soulmate connection with my place right here, right? When I was buying a property, that's how I did it, okay? I know that sounds weird. Yes, I would look at market values and this and that and the other and all the other stuff. But when I walked in, I had to feel a certain way to know, and that would be soulmate energy, right? And I, I'm telling you, you're on top of the mountain, the sun, Look at you with your courage, that lion with these pegasus wings. Like, oh my God, I told you, you are unique, you are different, you are special, you have something to offer. There's soulmate energy all about, all around. You got to take action, go do. You are going to be an inspiration to others. You're going to be an inspiration, inspiration to yourself. It's like, if I can do it, you can do it, right? I love this. I don't even, and that's crazy too. As many times as I've used this deck, I don't think I've ever seen the sun card in this deck. Talk about leadership and love. You're going to show people how to live life. Okay, Taurus, you're really going to start showing people how to live life to the fullest. Oh my gosh. I'm just so like in love with this right now. Ah. All right, let's see what else we have here. God, I can't get over that sun card. Show me clearly what is the message for Taurus for the week. Remember, whatever you do, because this is a weekly reading, man, keep it positive. Go for positive things all week long, even if there are down days, which there are, but take, take the moment and then, okay, that sucked and walk away, okay? Keep that movement forward. I'm telling you, you're going to see magic happen. And it's not just for the week. This is like... I feel like this is a really big stepping stone for these next 20 years, okay? And we talk about that because Pluto is in Aquarius and it's going to be there for 20 years, minus a dip, uh, 2024, I think September, October, November, somewhere. Anyway, that's going to go back into Capricorn for a little bit. We're going to see some crazy shit happen then, let me tell you that. However... All the rest of the time, it is Taurus time. It is Taurus time. Oh my. Show me clearly. What is the message? Thank you. What does this say? Uh, the universe... <laughs> I love this. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and believe. You believe you're going to be famous, you'll be famous. You believe you're going to be rich, you'll be rich. You can believe you're going to find your soulmate, you'll find your soulmate. This is what we. This is why I've been saying it. I wasn't going to say it, but I'm going to say it now. Why getting the Reiki done has been such a forefront for them. I'm talking about it in just about every reading. If you haven't booked a distance Reiki session with me, you should be. Especially the super conscious Reiki, because that's where we rewire the the brain, right? The subconscious. We rewire it using the higher intelligence, using truth to cut through. Any of that programming you have had, 
which is money's hard to come by, you know, I, we got to work on our marriage or, and I'm not, I'm just saying we make things way hard because we were taught that things are hard. So we take those beliefs out. We put the new beliefs in, new beliefs, new results, just absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal. Oh my gosh, look at that. Not all these cards say that too. I'm sorry, they had me look at the bottom of the deck. I got distracted. My future is an ideal projection of what I envision now. Wow. Life's about to change. Your life is about to change, Taurus. Take the action necessary. Take the action necessary. All right? With that being said, Taurus, all my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.